So I have Diptyque's Vetiverio EDT. This came out in 2010. The perfumer is Olivier Pijek. I think that's how you say it. He has a lot of popular fragrances. I think One Million's probably the most popular. I know he did a bunch of their flankers. Um, he did Versace, Eros, Flame, Mont Blanc Explorer. Kind of a rip off of Creed Aventus a little bit. Although over the years that Explorer aged um, differently than Aventus. It smells different to me. Um, what else did he do? A bunch of Diptyques. Florida Poe. Um... U Capital, uh, some other ones. He did a bunch for H and M. Oh, Mont Blanc Legend. Anyway, he's a popular perfumer. Um, he did the one gold too. That wasn't really popular, but smelling this Diptyque fragrance is better. I feel like it could be released as a flanker for the one or something. Maybe not even as good. I don't. It's not as good as the uh, the one EDP. It's honestly what it reminds me of. If anyone's smelled Frederick Mall's Uncut Gem, it's like that, but way more tame. Yeah, it's a uh, it's mass appealing. It has too much sweetness for me. Uh, I haven't smelled the EDP of this. Maybe I have a sample lying around. If I do, I'll do a compare comparison video. But uh, it's interesting. Like it's well blended, but it's just too designery. You know, it's got a amber woods in it. Yeah, it just smells like a, the synthetic like fragrances you smell at the mall. But I mean, you can kind of pick out the notes, but. They're not clear. They're just in this like murky synthetic cloud, you know. That's why this is one of my probably one of my least favorite diptyques that I've smelled. I like some of the other stuff this guy's released. He has one called like Herbicides or something from Diptyque. That one's interesting, but this one's just so plain. It feels like it could be any basic flanker or something of a designer um it's just too sweet too synthetic the vetiver smells nothing like you know uh chanel sink more encre noir nothing like that or fat electrician from Eta liber de orange it doesn't smell like that it's just such so, such a designer vetiver to me um i can't really I mean, vetiver's a popular used note, but it doesn't smell like any of your famous niche vetivers. It's no French lover. Uh, what's the other? Frederick Mall vetiver. It doesn't smell like that. It's, uh... Yeah, basically, it's kind of like just a synthetic amber woods musk. And yeah, you get you get a little bit of rose and cloves and nutmeg maybe in there. Whatever notes are listed, but it you can't really pick them out. If you read the notes, you might be like, "Oh yeah, I can I think I can smell some of that, but it's just a big cloud of synthetics, designery, mass appealing. Uh yeah, I like Diptyque. I think they're one of the better brands. They've been around for a long time. I know they make candles. I've never tried the candles, but their fragrances are are pretty good. Um, yeah, I prefer... If, if you're going to try Diptyque out, I would try like Tempo or I think Tom Dow, the Sandalwood... With that one, I'd go the EDT probably, unless you want something more designer and smooth and try the EDP. Um, what else? U Capital, but I prefer Portrait of a Lady. U Capital is more fresh, not as not as heavy and dark as Portrait of a Lady. Anyway, I have a bunch of Diptyque samples. Maybe I'll do a house overview or something like that. I don't have them all, but 
I have enough to make an interesting video. Maybe I'll do a rank video or something and talk about them all. But, uh, yeah, this Vetiver one's not my favorite. It's one I have, I've had for like a year or two. I've never really wore it. I just use these dabbers from Lucky Scent for like reference, references, you know. I, I like the spray, so like. I'd have to dump this whole thing to get a full wearing, but I can dab it like a hundred times, get a little smell. So to be fair, I haven't properly put this on skin through a spray or anything, but I mean, you can get a general idea of what it's going to smell like by just dabbing it. Um, the opening is better. It dries down to a designer. Uh, if you like things like Yeah, just any designer. Anyone watching this video probably knows what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Yeah, it's it's hard to compare it to something like... Yeah. But... Try the other diptychs. But, I mean, if you can get a sample of this for $4... Unlucky scent. I mean, you might as well. Only four dollars, but uh, some of the diptiques are three dollars. But um, yeah. Anyway, I don't got much more to say about this. Um, if anybody's tried this and likes it, let me know. Or if you dislike it, I just think it's kind of like whatever. You know, I wouldn't buy it. It's not. It's just not interesting. It doesn't stand out. There's so many like this. It's not exciting. Uh, it's, yeah. Anyway, see you all later.